Horn antennas belong to a category of antenna sometimes referred to as aperture antennas, which also includes simple open-ended waveguides. Like an open-ended waveguide, a horn antenna is fed via a section of rectangular waveguide, but in the case of the horn antenna, this waveguide section is flared outward at the end of the waveguide and terminates in an open aperture that has a larger cross-section than the waveguide alone. The transmitted wave is excited in the waveguide section, often by means of a coaxial feed which attaches to the bottom of the waveguide, and radiates out the mouth of the horn. Horn antennas may be further subdivided into three categories, based on the direction of the horn flare. For instance, an antenna that flares only in the direction of the electric field in the guide is known as an E-plane sectoral horn. An antenna that flares only in the direction of the magnetic field in the guide is known as an H-plane sectoral horn. And an antenna that flares in both the E-plane and the H-plane is called a pyramidal horn antenna. The effect of the flare is to compress the radiation pattern of the antenna, or narrow the beam width in the direction of the flare, thereby increasing the directivity which is observed straight out the mouth of the antenna. So an E-plane sectoral horn, like this one, which flares in the vertical direction, will have a radiation pattern that is more tightly constrained in the vertical direction than an antenna without the flare would be. You'll note, though, that the radiation pattern in this case has rather a wide beam width in the horizontal direction. The mirror of this is the H-plane horn, which looks like this. This antenna flares in the horizontal direction, and so the radiation pattern is compressed in the horizontal plane. You'll note, though, that this antenna has quite a wide radiation pattern in the vertical direction. The pyramidal horn combines the positive attributes of both the E-plane and the H-plane sectoral horns. It flares in both directions, and its radiation pattern is constrained, both vertically and horizontally. Pyramidal horns can achieve very focused radiation, very high directivity, because of that two-dimensional flare. Horn antennas cannot operate below the cutoff frequency of their feeding waveguide, but they are very wideband above that cutoff frequency. They typically radiate a very cleanly, linearly polarized wave, which is oriented in the same direction as the electric field in the waveguide. Because of their very high directivity, they are very efficient in applications that involve a great transmit distance, as long as the location of the receive antenna is precisely known. Another very common application of horn antennas is in laboratory settings, as a test antenna. So by slightly modifying the interior surfaces of the pyramidal horn antenna, constant gain can be achieved over a broad bandwidth. Such an antenna is known as a standard gain horn and is commonly used in testing environments to measure the behavior of other antennas with unknown parameters.